This is the video of recurrent cervical polyp which has been removed twice by two gynecologists and again there is a polyp which is a case of infertility and referred to us for further management. Now what we have done is we have started with vaginoscopy. You can see the cervix and cervical polyp protruding from the cervical canal. Now this is a cervical crepes. Cervicoscopy means you move the cable surroundingly, circumferentially around the polyp to find out from where this polyp is coming. Whether it is coming from the uterus, you can see the vaginoscopy again. This is the polyp circumferentially I am seeing. These are the cervical crepes and polyp. And then gradually I am just finding out a canal through which I can enter inside uh, and reason. So I am trying to see the, the extension of this polyp from where it is from lateral posterior. Now you can see that the marker is here means it is coming from the posterior side. I appreciate this. This is the polyp base. You can appreciate here. It's from the posterior cervical part just near the isthmus. And now when you move your cable you can enter inside the cavity under vision. This is the way you don't need to dilate anything otherwise it will distort everything. So a traumatic hysteroscopy. But with the a traumatic hysteroscopy you do you will find less uh, 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 disturbed picture and clear picture. You can see the clear picture. Right tubal ostium and uterine cavity, lap tubal ostium and uterine cavity. Now you can see that this polyp is, I'm just trying this not in the uterus but just near the isthmus. I am trying to find out the, the base. Yes, now here from place where it starts now. This is the base. Now see what people do is they try to remove it with a curette or a home forceps or a Alice forceps. That is not enough. See the base. So if the base remains there, then there is going to be likely to be recurrence. So you have to offer a treatment where you can do resection. So here we are using saline bipolar resectoscope. So I'm just after dilatation. Now you have to dilate. There's no issue. But you have to be very careful that you are not working in the uterus, uterine cavity, but in the cervix. So this is the isthmus. This is the extension of, this is the starting of the base of the cervical polyp near the isthmus. So you just start doing a section like this. Start, be a superficial, otherwise it will produce a perforation. So be very careful. Now see only, there are a few things left out near the isthmus on, a, on the post cervical part. So what we'll do, just we'll resect it superficially like this. Can you appreciate this? So this is how you just do superficial resection of this uh, part which is moving around, you know. If the part of the polyp which is leaving, which is which is left behind, that I'll just try to uh, resect it out superficially. Can you appreciate this? This is how superficially I'm resetting on the posterior, posterior cervical.